Namaste kings and queens. Thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a present, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I'm sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity, also health and wealth. Before we hop into this reading, please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a beautiful reading. This is going to be for Aries, okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, wherever you may have Aries in your chart, okay? So I'm going to hop in with the downloads first, Aries, and then we'll get into the reading, all right? So your downloads, Aries, I got, you will be given an opportunity of a lifetime to elevate your life financially. This may also attract people who see your worth and your dreams as their own and want to help via donations, co-creating, being a means of support. You will have a chance to manifest your desires in a way that is self-pleasing. In turn, will be pleasing to your audience. All right. Stay Woke by Childish Gambino is a song I got for you, Aries. So stay woke. Boom, 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 boom. Niggas creeping. They gonna find you. Oh, gonna catch you sleeping. Ooh, now stay woke. Boom, 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 boom. So I feel like it's gonna be a need for you to stay woke as you rise up in your life, as you change things in your life for the positive. And there may be some people who um, disagree with your, your, your changes, disagree with things that you have going on in your life now. Excuse me, I wanted to put this on before camera, but uh, oh, Aries, are you out there being cute? Are you out there trying to stay fly? All right, my for my Aries feminines, Aries masculine too. You guys might be, you know, staying fit, you know, making sure your hair is cut, your lineup is fresh. I don't know. But let's go ahead and hop in with the etherical or etheric messages and see what is coming in for you September. All right, we have mask, loss of identity, find your true self again. Ooh wee, Aries. So I feel like um, this month you will be finding yourself again. That's why I'm saying um, there's people around you who may be a little, you know, kind of, skeptical about the moves you're making now because you're making big changes for yourself because you know where you're going we have trust all right surrendering control all right trust the moves you're going to be making this month uh aries okay trust the divine trust the divine plan all right for your life here um trust yourself trust your intuition here we have voyage rite of passage to self-discovery and mastery yes this is what I'm getting for you, like you're definitely going to be finding your way here. All right. Um, you're going to be um, tapping into your gifts this month, uh, Aries. And then we have remorse, life regrets, bad choices, addiction. OK, so some of you guys could be definitely making the necessary changes to um, release certain addictions or bad choices that you've been making or that you feel like you've made in your life. OK, letting go of regrets of things that you did in the past or things that you've said to someone. All right. And then we have detox, cleansing of expectations and delusionment. Wow. It's going to be a transformational month for you Aries most definitely all right um remove the mask trust what you see all right discover your true self all right your higher self all right let go of any distractions any addictions anything that you may be feeling tied down to this month is going to be a um, a, a need for you to let those things go okay anything that may be weighing you down um, this literally could be anything, okay? This could be a person, place, thing, um, a way of thinking, all right? A way of doing things, all right? It's definitely going to be a need for you to shift your perspective this month, Aries, all right? Let's go ahead and clarify here. I wanted you guys to see the cards, but I guess not. 
All right. What's going on with this mask for Aries? Loss of identity. Yeah, we have King of Pentacles. All right. So for a lot of you, I feel like you've, you've lost your way in regards to knowing who you are, in regards to knowing the power you hold, all right, in regards to knowing that you are a person of your word, all right, you are committed and very driven in regards to your dreams, all right, in regards to um, making a life for yourself, all right, somewhere along the way, um, you, you forgot, all right. And this month, you're definitely going to be removing that mask and being your true self, no matter who likes it or who does not. All right. Surrendering control. I feel like you guys are needing to kind of be a little more lenient about having control over other people. All right. Just control you and what you have control over. All right. Whoa. We have the Three of Wands, Six of Cups, the High Priestess, Nine of Wands here. There's a decision that you'll be making, Aries, all right, in regards to the past, all right? Um, there's a need for you to... There are some things that you're holding on to from the past. There's some secrets in regards to the past and their, their past, and I feel like they are causing um, a slight burden on your your current life like where you are currently all right and there's going to be a need for you to um again release these things release these thoughts release these feelings these secrets i'm also getting um, with the high priestess if there's no one around that you can talk to about these secrets and you're just holding on to them and you're thinking about them and you're dwelling on these things um you need to get a journal, okay, seek professional help, get a counselor, therapy, something of that nature because I feel like um, there's going to be a need for you to release these secrets this month, all right, so that you can move forward in your endeavors, okay? And whoever it is or whatever process you decide to take on releasing these secrets, you need to trust the process, okay? And what it is that you've been waiting for to come in will very well come in, but first there needs to be a release. Okay, there needs to be a release here. Rite of passage to self-discovery, uh, self-mastery. Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups, okay? So there's definitely something or someone you are going to be needing to walk away from and walk towards your emotional fulfillment, okay? You're emotionally unfulfilled in regards to something or in regards to, um, I'm hearing in regards to a task, okay? So maybe in regards to the journey that you're on, okay? Um, give me one more for the Eight of Cups. I'm getting the energy that some of you guys do not want to travel this journey alone, but it's meant to be that way. Okay, because I feel like with the King of Swords, it's like you have to you have to really be logical and think smart about um, who you want along this journey with you. All right, this journey to self mastery and self discovery here. All right. You're definitely walking away. What, why, why is bad choices addictions here with life regrets? Some of you guys could be battling some type of um, drug addiction or pill. Um, pill addiction, yeah. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse with the Tower. All right? So I feel like a lot of you... If you are dealing with some type of addictions and things of that nature, you will be realizing this month, like, this is not me, all right? I'm, this is not me loving myself. And you, you see yourself uh, steadily declining, um, and you see things just getting worse and worse for you. If you don't decide to make the necessary changes in regards to your life this month, Aries, all right? So I feel like... I'm also hearing if you are, you know, indulging in some type of drugs or some type of substance, 
um, and you and you're not the type who is able to just go cold turkey take it easy on yourself all right definitely is gonna be a need to detox these things but you know if you can't do cold turkey just take it one day at a time one step at a time okay oh excuse me yes do less and less of it each day all right be easy about this all right be easy about this path okay because for some of you with that six of cups coming out this is something that you've been addicted to for years okay and so it's not it's not like it's gonna be that easy to just release it and let it go this is something that you've been addicted to and codependent to for a long time all right so and i'm also hearing whatever this addiction is or this um this regret is um, you've been codependent to it and you you started doing this drug or addiction when you were in a very, very bad place. And it was your sense of um, hope. It brought you some type of peace or happiness doing this thing. So it's, 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 it's hard to let it go because it brought you so much peace at one point. So you thought, but now it's taking control of your life. It's controlling you. You're not controlling it. All right. So let's go ahead and get some uh, messages for your career and finances. Holy Spirit. What's going on with Aries? All right. Gratitude list. I did mention a journal. So some of you guys may need to start a gratitude list. All right. And then we have pay yourself first. All right. So if some of you do have a business or you're planning to start a business, all right, make sure um, you're paying yourself first. It says here, make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future, all right? And then we have continuing continuing your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to helps you to be centered in your heart instead of fixated or worry on worries in your mind. It says what and who you are grateful for right now. So ask yourself that Aries, what and who are you grateful for right now? All right. It says, keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generously or generosity of the universe. OK, so the universe is at your beck and call at this moment, Aries, in regards to your finances and your career here. All right. So definitely start a gratitude list and start paying yourself first, whether you have your own business or whether you work a regular job. OK. All right, so let's see. Give me more for Aries finance and career, please. Give me more for Aries. All right, we have the death card in reverse here. Yes, yeah, some of you guys are refusing a transformation. Wow, and there you are, Aries, showing up very strongly in your energy. All right, so you are the emperor or the empress and you are battling something. There's a judgment, something from your past that you are refusing to let go. All right, this needs to be released, Aries, so that you can move forward to your abundance, okay? Wow, why is the death card in reverse? Queen of Cups in reverse, okay? So um, I feel like a lot of you are just definitely not tapped into your intuition in regards to this. I feel like you're ignoring it. I feel like you're very numb at this time in regards to this transformation. And I feel like if this has to do with finances and career, you have to be tapped into yourself, into your emotions, into your vulnerability in order for you to call in that abundance. Being tapped in um, with self is being tapped in with source, okay? So then therefore you'll know what to ask. You'll know what to call in. You'll know what you want. But I feel like right now, um, some of you guys could be a bit confused this month in regards to your finances and career. I also see a lot of you are in a position of authority though. You are in a high power position and for some of you, um, you guys could be still battling an addiction, even being in that high power authority. Why is the emperor here for finances and career here? Some of you have a very successful business. Some of you guys are running, you're running the show. All right. But, um, let me see. Wow. The world card, this could definitely be coming to an end if the necessary changes are not made here.
I'm also seeing with the world though, this could, this, this, um, this position does bring you a great sense of joy. So for a lot of you, if you are battling some type of addiction or some type of um, substance abuse, you, when I said earlier, it's time for you to like take it slow, be easier on yourself. It'll be in your best interest to shift that codependency from that substance to this career to this job to your business to your company it's still a sense of codependency but in this aspect it'll be in a healthy way because you're pouring into your wealth and then you're pouring into your abundance okay and i'm also seeing here that you are the leader you are the example aries so you have to set a good one because i'm also seeing here if you run your own business i feel like your employees or the people who you pay out um, their behavior is just as bad as yours because they see that you're, they see the way you're acting. So they think it's okay. Why is judgment here? I'm hearing, get your act together, Aries. Yeah. See five of pentacles. Feeling of, uh, being left out in the cold in regards to something. Okay, feeling very, again, regretful, which came out here. Life regrets. There's something that you're regretting or you feel bad about. Um, I'm also hearing here. Um, King of Swords. King of Wands. I'm also hearing here, I'm hearing revenge very loudly. And I feel like you guys have, you guys were done, you guys were done scandalous like in the past and somebody left you out in the cold in the past. So now you feel like you're in um, a, um, a power of authority. So you feel like, okay, nobody had my back when I needed them. Nobody cared about me. Nobody cares to uh, lend me a helping hand in the past. So why should I do that now? This is how you may be feeling this month, but with the chariot in the ver in reverse, this is gonna get you nowhere. Fighting fire with fire. Two wrongs don't make a right, Aries. Some of you guys could be dealing with the cancer. I'm also seeing here, you're gonna be in a position or you're in a position to give somebody an opportunity to come up and you're not going to give them an opportunity because they they did you wrong in the past. We have temperance here. And then we have the full card. So we have Aries and Sagittarius energy here. I feel like this month in regards to your finances and career Aries, you are going to really need to open your heart okay and gain some type of compassion some type of love a sense of harmony here because there's someone um that you that source is pushing towards you to assist and help and they want to see if you're going to take this leap of faith if you've learned your lesson from the past judgment card if you really change in regards to how you see others and how you treat others okay so let's move forward. All right, let's go ahead and see what's going on with love. What's going on with love for my Aries? What's going on with love for my Aries? Holy Divine Spirit, providing energy for Aries in love. What's going on with Aries for September in love? Wow, that was quick. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. Yeah. All right, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture, Aries. All right. Um, this person is worth waiting for. <laughs> new love, new love. Okay, it says a new person has steered your romantic feelings, Aries. So there's somebody new in your life for some of you. Um, or someone new is going to be coming in. Um, this could be someone from your past who you had a, um, a, a short connection with, okay? 
Um, I feel like um, this person might be coming back around. There might be a reconciliation with this person and there's going to be a need for you to express yourself to this person. Yeah, we have express your love here and we have romantic feelings. So for a lot of you, there's somebody coming back around um, and universe is saying it is safe for you to love this person. Express your love, express your romantic feelings for this person, Aries, or this person is going to be doing this to you, all right? Um, I just feel like what the worth waiting for is somebody from your past, doesn't have to be, all right? Won't resonate with everybody. But um, again, this is uh, future energy. So it kind of should resonate. But um, then again, sometimes, you know, the way energy works, this could have happened in the past. But let's see what's going on with worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. Yeah, we have the page of cups. Oh, somebody very sweet, somebody very coy. All right, this person is very eccentric is what I'm hearing. Okay, so this person might be... You know, someone you're not used to dating, but something about them intrigues you. This could be a Cancer. I'm getting could be a Pisces Scorpio, but um, I'm I don't know. I'm getting Cancer very strongly. You really, you really like this person, or you're gonna be really digging this person. All right, when they come towards you, or they offer this cup to you, Aries, or you're gonna be offering this cup to someone. It is safe for you to love. Why is it is safe for you to love? Wow, we have the Empress and we have the or the Emperor and we have the Tower here. Woo! So I definitely do feel like this is someone from your past. For some of you or others of you, someone from your past will be returning. All right. Um, could have been a Scorpio um, or another Aries here. All right, but I'm getting Mars and Mars energy here. Something that went on in the past. Um, in regards to this person, it just caused you guys to to, to uh, bump heads a lot, all right? But um, in the interim, universe is saying it is safe for you to love this person. So if this person is coming back around for you, I feel like they've done a lot of self-healing or self-reflecting or going within. I feel like they've done a lot of um, um, realizations that you're the emperor or the empress. Like, And I'm also seeing that something had to drastically happen in their life in order for them to realize you were the person of their dreams or that you are the person of their dreams. Why is express your love here? Yeah, we have the four of cups here. So some of you guys could be a little skeptical in expressing your love to someone this month. Um, or someone's going to be expressing their love to you and you may very well reject them. Wow, see, cancer is showing up very strongly for you. Um, and then we also have the nine of pentacles here. So this is somebody who is in their single energy. They're very abundant, Aries. I feel like they're, they're, they match your energy in regards to where they're going in life, okay? What they have going on for themselves. I feel like, too, this person is ready to love. And I feel like they're going to be very expressive in regards to that. But I feel like with the Four of Cups, you need to be open to this. Why is romantic feelings here? Romantic feelings. That was the Knight of Cups. It fell out in reverse. So again, I do feel like there's an offer coming in for you. That's too many. Um, somebody's going to be, be proposing their feelings for you. I was guided to take this off the floor. Um, a lot of cup energy. So there's somebody in your energy areas who's very emotional about you or you're very emotional about this person. These feelings are going to be expressed or they need to be expressed or there's going to be some type of explosion like in regards to your emotions here. I feel like if you don't get these, if you don't get these feelings out to this specific person, um, I have to say it, the enemy is going to try to send someone who is very well not meant for you and you may very well fall for this person instead of going for actually who you want, Aries. Yeah, and I feel like if you go for, if you go towards a person who you really don't have these romantic, romantic feelings for, um, they're going to leave you out in the cold because I'm hearing you need to go for who 
who comes for you or you need to express and accept the love from whoever is extending the love offer if you have to chase anyone they're not the one no and if you're a feminine energy um definitely make sure the masculine energy likes you more i'm just saying all right so let's go ahead and pull um a self-care oracle for you aries Holy Spirit, flow like water. And then we have dream journal. So journal came out three times for you, Aries. Very significant. All right, but flow like water. Go with the flow. And I said there was a lot of cup energy. So definitely be in tune with your emotions this month, Aries. Again, like I said, if, if, if this is hard for you to express to someone or you don't have anyone specific you can talk to, get a journal. It doesn't have to necessarily be a dream journal, but maybe some of you do need one. You might be having a lot of dreams this month and you need to jot those down or keep track of your dreams, but definitely get around water, nature, um, take a lot of spiritual baths or I'm, I'm hearing take about two this month, Aries, two spiritual baths. Just connect with water very strongly, Aries. All right. So that's what I have for you. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Ashe.